non-union of the humerus. What is the definition of a fracture non-union? It is a fracture that will not progress towards union without help. How do you make this decision? Evaluate the fracture clinically for pain and for movement of the fracture. You evaluate the fracture by x-rays for callus, for healing, and for internal hardware failure. If you are in doubt, get a CT scan. Patients with humeral shaft fractures are usually treated conservatively with a coaptation splint followed by a functional brace and usually the patient will have routine follow-up in the clinic to check x-rays every week for about three weeks. It is advisable to check 25 vitamin D levels in patients with humeral shaft fractures. At six weeks, you will do clinical exam to check for fracture stability, and you will check the x-ray for callus formation. If there is fracture mobility and lack of callus formation, then this fracture is heading for non-union, and then we need to intervene early. So that is an impending non-union. In humeral shaft fracture, non-union can be decided very early at six weeks. If there is no motion at the fracture at six weeks and there is callus formation, then the patient's fracture will go to union. You don't need to do anything to that fracture except wait a few more weeks and the fracture will heal. Keep the brace. What are the factors that can lead to non-union of a fracture? Usually smoking, endocrine, and vitamin D problems, medications, infection, or fracture displacement and deformity. If the patient came to you with a non-union, what is the workup for a non-union? You will get vitamin D25, you will check the albumin, if the patient had previous surgery, you will get CRP and sedimentation rate. If the patient has diabetes, you get hemoglobin A1C. You're going to use a plate and bone graft or bone graft substitute. If the patient has a rod, then you remove the rod and use plate and bone graft or bone graft substitute. If the non-union is hypertrophic, then use compression plate alone. Various malunion is common, especially after conservative treatment. It occurs more with transverse fractures of the humerus, and it does not affect the functional outcome. Humeral shaft fractures are usually treated without surgery in the majority of cases. A non-operative treatment gives a satisfactory outcome. The perfect alignment of the humerus is not important for an acceptable functional outcome. Acceptable alignment is less than 20 degrees anterior or posterior deformity and less than 30 degrees varus or valgus deformity, and less than 3 cm shortening. Weekly radiographs are needed for a period of 3 to 4 weeks to check for loss of the reduction and maintenance of alignment. The fracture usually heals between 6 to 10 weeks. Observe the fracture for loss of reduction Observe for excessive varus or extension deformity. You may want to remanipulate the fracture as needed or use a shoulder abduction brace to correct the varus deformity. If acceptable reduction cannot be obtained or maintained, surgery is usually recommended, and surgery is done in the form of IM rod or a plate, and plate is preferable than IM rod. If you lose the reduction, be patient and don't rush to surgery, especially if the patient is making bone. 
As you are aware, the fracture healing can go through several stages. Hematoma, inflammation, soft callus, hard callus, and remodeling. Only in the process, if the alignment is not acceptable to you, you can mold the callus into an acceptable alignment. So we intervene when the patient has an unacceptable deformity of the fracture, but the patient makes a lot of callus. Usually we intervene between four to six weeks when the callus is soft, malleable, and flexible. Then we correct the deformity by manipulating the mobile callus and we use external fixation to maintain the reduction of the deformity. It is a simple, minimally invasive procedure. You may utilize one or two pins proximally and one or two pins distally. We put the pins in a safe area at the shoulder and near the elbow. We keep the external fixer in place for about four to six weeks. By that time, the fracture usually heals in an acceptable position. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.